Hello Fashion Sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen Geely. And what we are going to be refashioning, refashioning, or should I say, what I'm going to be refashioning is this white jumper. It has a cute little pocket on here and two yeah, fairly long sleeves. It's quite a basic shape and if you're new to my channel, what I usually do is I challenge myself to refashion a garment and try to make sure that I use every bit of that garment as much as possible so there's little amounts of waste. So um, I know possibly there may be from this one because I'm going to take away the sleeves because the sleeve does this no justice whatsoever and um, I'm going to be adding something to it and this was from a previous project which is shoulder pads. I'll put a little image here of what this jacket looked like before and after and with that I used as much as possible of the jacket to the point where I've tried to figure out if there's large pieces left over I'll try to figure out some way of getting that into the garment so there was no way that I was going to be using shoulder pads in that because it was a halter neck jacket top and um, so whenever I've got anything left over from a previous project I try and bring it into another project so therefore you know I'm still minimizing on waste so these are going to be here you can put shoulder pads anywhere really it's the wrong way around actually it should be that way hey that could be an idea I possibly could put them that way see thinking already hmm ideas so that is what I'm going to be doing with that, putting this into here for sure and hopefully I'll be able to use the sleeves in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is to try it on and tell you the areas, the features um, what, um, that I'm keeping and reasons why and hopefully that will give you some ideas and help you with a similar project too. So let's get to the first fitting. As you can see it's not very flattering. I like the shape of the collar, the collar's fine, and the pocket, yeah, I would say it's in the right place. The sleeves are short, but they are actually rolled up. So I need to unpick there and there, and then it probably will come to my wrist. But that won't make any difference to whether or not I would actually keep the sleeves in this top. As you can see, it's a drop shoulder, drop shoulder, and it's not, you know, not very good shape. Don't like that. But I do like the, slat, um, the slits at the side, that's nice. And we just show you the back. So, yeah, collar, fine, nice shape, like that, pocket, fine. Yeah, so the aesthetic of the collar and the position of the pocket with the ribbing is fine and um, there is ribbing on the sleeve but I will be keeping the sleeves as I've just said so it's going to be the shoulder pads this is what I think is going to make this top so it's a case of am I going to wear the shoulder pads this way because this is traditionally this is how you put shoulder pads into a garment jacket coats tops that's how you put them in but you can put it this way as a feature it's nice. That's a possibility. So, am I going to have them inside or out? On which way? Nice shape. I want it to interfere too much with the colour. So these are definitely going in. I've started to pull away but I'm cutting into the garment and I don't want to do that. I don't want to create any holes. So if you come to a stage where it gets a little bit frustrating and I'll be honest it is getting a little bit frustrating. Another thing that I go for the other option would be to cut it away and you probably thought why don't you do that first and third place Colleen. Um, because if it's possible, it's always a good idea to 
keep the raw edges of the garment. Since someone else has already done that for you, then you might as well give it a go and give it a try. But if that's not the case, always try to make sure that you're gonna keep, if you're cutting into it, which I'm going to do, the raw edge to the actual garment, to the actual project that you're working with. So, um, and the other reason is that when you cut into a knit, because knits are created by loops, so once you cut into it, there's little bits that fall away um, as you cut, and sometimes that can create a lot of folding, natural folding within the actual part that you're actually cutting away. So I want to save this into the main garment. So I'm gonna cut away the sleeve. Get my scissors in there. And then just cut away, all the way around. And see, nice is the main garment. As you can see, with the raw edge. Okay, there is the final sleeve, second sleeve. So that is what I'm left with. Now I'm going to spend some time unraveling the side seams to this because I do want to make sure that I'm saving the raw edge on each side, the front and the back. Okay, so this, because usually what happens is with knitwear, they use a chain stitch, so it's easier to pull it, pull out the thread that's stitching the pieces together and I've managed to find it. So I can just pull like this. And that's, and that's what you're looking for. Right, it's snapped now. <laughs> now I'm going to go back in. And that's, and there you can see is keeping the raw edge that isn't being cut into compared to when I cut the sleeves off. Right, so let's get my handy seam of putting and find it again somehow. I think there's a knot there. But, that, but that's what you should be looking for if you are working with an, an, a knit garment because you will find that most seams use a chain stitch so you can pull them quite easily and and then if you have to go back into it then do, that's, which is my case now. And then I'm going to do the other side. On my channel, I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing. If you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing. I'm here to help change how we view fashion. So if you're interested, please subscribe. Let's get back to the video. The next stage is to gently press the sleeves. Try not to press them too much out of shape. Okay, so I am going to be covering my shoulder pads, but I want this to be the feature on the, on the actual shoulder pad. Okay. Now, I've got, this is the right side, and I'm folding the rib edge towards the cut edge here. I'm going to place my shoulder pad in position like so, because I'm gonna cut this out. So I wanna make sure, I'm gonna come about here so it's just touching the line of that ribbing. And then I'm going to cut around Give myself some seam allowance. Get a couple pins to keep it in place. That should be okay.
So what I've done here is I folded the back like so. I'll tell you why later. And then I'm going to start sewing all the way around. Shoulder pads are now sewn as a covering for the shoulder pads. Take away the pins, take away the shoulder pad as well. And it's generally on the wrong side. Now I may have to cut some of this seam allowance off, but not just yet. Okay, I told you I was going to explain to you why you turn back some of this. Is because it's going to be hand sewn that's the reason why and it's not always you don't always get the best results by machine sewing the best results for quality sewing for luxury refashioning of garments is to get the ratio of i'm going to say 50 50. i know a lot of people don't like to hand sew but if you really want nice looking garments hand sewing is part of that process it really is part of that process. So that will mean I'll put these back into these pockets here. Get that one out of the way. And the reason why I'm keeping the bulk of the seam allowance, and it's always is a case, it's just how my brain works when I'm doing this sort of thing is I'm you always kind of thinking one step ahead and because I've got experience within designing it just helps you to make decisions afterward see that's a nice shape if it was too bulky here I possibly would have thought about trimming it away but I wanted to give it a little bit of volume here and that helps with the seam allowance Yes, that looks very nice. And then what's going to happen here is that I'm going to cover the shoulder pad like so. And that will be turned back. And then I'm going to hand stitch that. From there, actually I'll start here all the way to the other end. That looks nice. That really looks nice. I don't even know if this is going to look nice on the top. It's just that it just has to be. This is what it was meant to be. That looks cute. Yeah. That's a nice shape. I'll just do the same with that one. If you remember earlier, I pulled out these threads from the sleeve and also from the sides of the top and I'm actually going to be using that in order to sew and sew this together see I'm using everything I can possibly use on this garment I mean this is not a refashion project from start to finish I don't know what it is that was come out this is a difficult this is a tricky part so tricky part because but it's got quite a big hat eye but the thread is quite thick Yes, got it. Yay. 
and now I'm going to do a slip stitch all the way around. The shoulder pads are now trapped inside. Now what I need to do is then put the top part on and put these shoulder pads in place. I'm just going to fasten. I don't think I've got fastening on it, I don't think so. We'll just sew it over there in position. So roughly around the waistline on both sides. It would look amazing. So let's gonna put some pins in there. That looks cute actually. It's a case of really working with what you've got in order to be happy with the end result. I'm hoping that's going to be the case here. Um, I think it is actually, I, I really do. I think the ideas for the shoulder pads are going to work. Right, let me just show you the side. So that's how much will be sewn together. I don't think I've put any, because I don't think there's anything left in the bits, the little scraps that I have. Uh, if there is, I'll, I'll try and do something, but if not, then it's just going to be a sew straight down on each side. I'll still be able to pull it over my head. And that looks cute already, that looks nice. And then I'll put the shoulder pad in place like this. And this ribbing here is just going to hang slightly over so that picks up from the collar and also the pocket. Yeah, looks nice. Happy with that. So it's going to be a lot of hand sewing in place because this is going to be sewn by hand into position. I don't know, I, I may machine sew that. Um, it all would depend if it's much of the thread that was left when I actually pulled out the side seams. Um, but if not, it, it won't really make that much difference. So yeah, I think that's more than likely it will be machine sewn, it's just a small section. Well, that's, that's a cute little top. Yeah, that's nice. So what do I need to do now? Fold it in, sew down the sides and attach the shoulder pads and then I'm done. And I can show you. This is the stage that I'm at now. So I folded in the sides, the back and the front, and I am going to hand sew all this into position. If you want, you can machine sew, that is possible. I just don't want a stitching running through the right side of the garment. So that's the reason why I'm going to be hand sewing. And also I love to have a professional look to my clothing because it is quality refashioning. Um, I'm treating this as if I were making this from scratch. So I just want quality. And that's one way of doing that is to get into practice and start your hand sewing. So yeah, I'm happy the way this is turning out. So I don't think there's going to be any more 
don't think I know there isn't going to be any more machine sewing I know I said earlier that I might sew machine sew the size but since I'm folding this back I'm going to hand sew that the size because I'm going to be um, a small amount Let's see it should be roughly about yeah, about I'll say three centimeters it's three inches eight centimeters roughly about that uh, on the size and then it will be done so sides then the shoulder pads they'll go on and sew those by hand and the side seams in order to close it up will be sewn by hand and that's it and I'll come back and show you I've sewn down the sides by hand on both and I've also put one of the shoulder pads on how cute is that I just need to do the other one and then sew the sides but it's looking super cute totally wasn't what I was expecting I think the shoulder pad just makes it it really does I think I made the right decision there it just ties all these in especially with the ribbing let me show you this especially with the ribbing section there it really just ties it all in it really looks really cute so now I need to put this one in position on this side and yes this is going to be hand sewn as well into place just get some couple of pins around and yeah it will end up looking like this and then I will be hand sewing about that much on each side and try it on so you can have a look Um, so yeah you know me I'm always encouraging you to hand sew so um, if you do do this sort of project do bear that in mind but the techniques I'm showing you or the areas I'm showing you to hand sew can be sewn on a machine so if that's the way you want to go that is totally fine um, you still can get a good result um, you won't get as much of a couture look i'll admit that but that is your choice as long as it looks good and you are happy with the end result that is what counts so um i've got a lot of hand sewing to do and hopefully um this won't take me too long so i should be able to finish this video today so if you're hand sewing good luck and um yeah i'll come back to you once it's all completed well no before it's completed i'll show you different stages that i'm that i'm obviously going to be at but um sewing a side seam is going to take a little bit of time and i'm also going to be using just regular thread as well because i don't have enough of the thread to um sew the side seams because i want that definitely to be for the shoulder pads um because that won't be it's it will just enable me to you because that's going to be the focus of the top and i just want to make sure that it's stable it stays in place and i think it's a nice finish with using the original thread that sewed this up together so yeah that's it see you in the next stage i finished my last bit of hand sewing there we go so that is the side seam gorgeous that's the wrong side and this is what it looks like on the right side let's pull it through <gasps> that is super cute that is so gorgeous oh. it looks gorgeous like this but it's the trying on isn't it and see how it looks on my body shape but that is cute okay i'm going to go and try it on now so i can show you <laughs> i do like the idea of the shoulder pads being here i just think they may be a little bit too thick and perhaps i should have taken out some of the stuff in what the whole purpose of 
me repurposing is making sure that I use everything. Um, but I think I can resolve that a little bit. I like the ribbing that's happening here and it's sticking out a little bit, which looks great in the hanger. But I think I'm going to, well, yeah, this is what I'm definitely going to do. I'm going to actually sew it and sew it onto this section here that brings it in a little bit and also the same for the back. The slits on the side are fine. Happy with that positioning. Um, but that's, that's about it. That's, that's the only issue that I've got with it. But other than that, it's fine. Is it one of my favourite mates? No. But would I wear it with jeans? Absolutely. Yeah, I do. So if you do go ahead and make this, maybe think about a less thicker shoulder pad. And it should work. It should look nice. But I think it's a, a, a good remake. A good refashioning for sure, definitely. If you want to see how I style um, my garments or my fashion remakes, then it's a good idea to follow me on Instagram. But other than that, this is good. I like it. Yeah, it's okay. Um, if you like this project, please give it a like and please do share. Remember, I'm all about refashioning old or even new garments. So I just want to inspire you and motivate you to, you know, think about purchasing secondhand clothing and transforming them. Because you would never have thought this was the jumper or the top before it became this. And it's, it's amazing, it really is. So um, if you do give this a go, then please do tag me. And like I say, um, please do subscribe if you haven't already done so, because subscribing will also make sure that my, helps my channel to grow and also get me to uh, put more videos out there. So yeah, it's cute. I think all I need to do is just here, just bring that in. And um, I think I will just resolve the issue that I really don't like about it. But yeah, so that's it. I enjoyed doing the project. I think it has worked out. And like I said, I do just think it's probably a little bit too thick here, but that's fine. I think I'm going to resolve that by stitching it down. So follow me on Instagram to see how I will be styling this. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and please do share. And don't forget to subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit the bell so that you receive notifications. And yeah, that's it for now. And remember, I'm all about refashioning old or even new clothing. It's important that we do give some thought to the clothing that's out there and how we can transform and make them look like another garment, like what you see here. And I will see you next time.